there are a few best practices to ensure a successful budget process. The key one being highly recommend that you start the process early. At least five months prior to the beginning of each new fiscal year, the board alongside with its property management team should begin to develop a schedule of projected revenues, expenses, debt service, cash flow for the following fiscal year. This will allow sufficient time for the scheduling of the budget workshop and adoption meetings, ensure a thorough review by the board of directors and or appointed finance committee, and mailing of the proposed budget and payment options to the residents. From a legal perspective, Florida, Georgia and Tennessee statutes, as well as the association's declaration and bylaws, specify that the board of directors is responsible for the preparation and adoption of the budget. Florida statutes also require that all owners and receive a copy of the proposed budget no less than 14 days before the board's adoption of the budget. In some cases, the association's documents may require an even longer time frame, such as 30 days. So therefore, it's important to be familiar with your association's bylaws. Here at First Service Residential, to allow for proper billing of assessments commencing on January 1st, 2022, we require that the final budget is completed and approved, saved in our First Service Residential Budget Tool application, no later than November 15th, 2021. It is necessary for an association to have both short-term and long-term financial plans because short-term plans provides the opportunity to review current state of the association, reassess the needs and objectives of the membership, and develop a plan to achieve those objectives for the next fiscal year. Short-term plans addresses the immediate cash flow needs to run the day-to-day -day operations. Simply put, how do we keep the grass cut and the lights on? Long-term plans are imperative because they provide the opportunity for the board to plan for the future viability of the association. Your property management partner plays an integral role in the coordination of the smooth and efficient budget process. Here at First Service Residential, we provide a detailed budget guide for community association managers to assist in streamlining the annual budget process. We recommend a budget checklist to help navigate the process. And in fact, have developed a robust checklist with approximately 20 key steps to consider that is shared with our community association managers. Your property management company should provide a platform to assist with scheduling planning meetings, providing useful current information, trends, analytics, as well as dedicated support for questions and review. Over the past year, we have seen fluctuations in revenues and expenses, primarily attributed to the COVID-19 pandemic. It is important to note that while many restrictions have been lifted, that it is critical for managers and boards to analyze current trends to assist with developing a conservative budget. This year, we have seen increases in areas such as labor, materials, and utilities, just to name a few. In addition to that, associations may have additional municipal requirements for structural engineering inspections which could significantly impact your association's budgets. Please consult with your insurance company, engineer of record, 
any professional you deem necessary and your local municipality regarding potential changes that could impact the 2022 budget. We also highly recommend that boards discuss and evaluate their approach to reserves and capital projects in consultation with their association's council. It is possible to redistribute funds for something else other than they were earmarked for in a budget. Highly recommend that you analyze your current budget for discretionary expenses, such as social events, non-critical repairs, plant special projects that can be deferred to a later year to potentially redistribute those funds for more critical budget needs. A common question that does get asked is, can associations dip into their reserves to make up for budget shortfalls? It is not quite a simple answer. What I would say is this will be dependent on your state statute as well as your association's bylaws. The state of Florida has more stringent rules around the preservation of reserve funds and their intended purpose. So it is highly recommend that you consult with your association's attorney for specific guidance. best practice, there should be incremental increases of dues on an annual basis simply due to the cost of inflation. But the fact is, one of the largest expense for an association is labor, and it has increasingly become more competitive to attract talent without offering competitive wages. Simply put, the cost of labor is going up, cost of inflation, and therefore, boards should always consider having um, an incremental increase to the budget on an annual basis. A common question that does get asked is, how can associations reduce expenses without sacrificing the level of service and amenities they offer? I would recommend that it's necessary to evaluate those discretionary expenses, such as social events and non-essential repairs to offset against any potential cost increase. However, it will ultimately boil down to some level of trade-off. Perhaps one could consider scaling back on services, um, so from an amenity perspective, if you are towel services, you could consider scaling back on the frequency of towel exchanges, for example, because with rising costs, you have to find a way to offset those costs. And, you know, it may be necessary to pull back on the level of services, even though that might not be the popular decision. Special assessments, while sometimes necessary, can have significant and potential de devastating impact to an association, especially in a time of economic crisis. If you think about it, residents are faced with rising costs in general for their day-to-day -day living expenses as well. Wherever possible, boards should consider other options, such as loans, in lieu of a special assessment, financing options, provides an opportunity for associations to spread the cost over a number of years to help level the potential impact of the association. If absolutely necessary to levy a special assessment, it is recommended that you communicate in a timely manner with the details of the reasons for the shortfall. If possible, consider a multi-year assessment or provide an opportunity for residents to make smaller payments to help alleviate the burden on the membership 
and minimize the potential of increased delinquencies.